The next step definitely is the semicon, uh, wherein uh, Delta, along with the uh, Universal Instruments, which is a Delta Group company, uh, we have very strong uh, product line or you know the equipments which can be used in uh, the semicon industry also, and uh, we are one of the best in the industry. Hello viewers, welcome to Mojo for Industry. We are at Intech 2024, happening in the city of Coimbatore in Tamil Nadu. In this edition of Intech 2024, Delta Electronics India is showcasing their range of solutions for industrial automation segment. Now I'll be talking to Mr. Manish Walia, who is the head of automation for Delta Electronics India. Uh, thank you so much for joining with us once again. And uh, Intech is an exhibition that is focused on machine tools industry. And I could see that the there is a new series of launch from Miss for machine tools industry. Could you tell us more about that? Yeah, Coimbatore as a city has always been very important uh, from the business perspective. I think if we really look at it, our focus here, I mean, uh, what we understand, this particular uh, city itself has more than 200,000 uh, MSMEs which are investing in the automation apart from the large companies which are here. So coming uh, in particular to Intech, yeah, we have been um, uh, showcasing our uh, you know offerings, the product lines, the solutions in Intech for a while now. It's an important uh, exhibition for us. Uh, more importantly, because uh, the, the city itself has a lot of potential in terms of the overall business uh, growth, and uh, we have very similar product lines which we are launching here. I mean. Uh, a game changer in the industry and it's going to be really focusing on high precision uh, applications apart from this you'll see uh, our, our uh, you know uh, server press uh, being showcased which is primarily for a very high precision uh, pressing for application like bearing and uh, other areas like wash and all and it gives a lot of data which is important for uh, you know, having these applications done and then uh, traced and tracked. So, I mean, all in all, uh, it's it's been uh, an important showcasing event for us. Uh, the robots that uh, we have currently, from what we uh, were looking in the past, I mean, the, the range itself is growing. I mean, the SCARA itself is about 22 kg as a payload. is the highest capacity now. We are also going to come with the higher ones. So how this NC5 is going to be a kind of NC5 series is going to be a kind of game changer for you as well as for the industry? See, it's a, it's a very high-end uh, controller, uh, very highly spec, I would say. And then it's going to help us uh, improving the precision even further. And we're going to not just look at the milling and the lathe controllers here. We're going to also look at, uh, you see a lot of investments are happening right now in the electronic space, the mobile making and all, right? And that's where we are trying to focus with our NC5 going ahead. Uh, now the kind of applications, for example, we call it drill tap centers and all, which are being very widely used and hundreds and thousands of machines are going to be uh, used by uh, the mobile makers. And then I'm, I'm sure we have a space there and we should be a strong player going ahead in this segment as well. Yeah. So uh, last time we sp uh, spoke about your reason for particular uh, no, Delta Electronics India it's industrial automation business. Uh, how, where do we stand today and what sort of objectives you have for the next five years or so? How would you like to grow further? In terms of the fact check, uh, I think we are uh, one of the fastest growing industrial automation business in India amongst all our peers. Uh, and, and that's been a very consistent growth. It's, it's coming from very strong uh, team strength what we have in terms of the capability we are uh, having as a team, right? Yeah. right. This EV uh, is as a segment, is it going to somehow contribute to your uh, goal? See, we are focusing, we are also putting in a lot of uh, resources and our effort in the new energy side of it. Whether it is uh, EV, we are talking about storage, we are talking about you know the battery manufacturing. These are all new ones in the Force uh, 3C, including the mobile making, which is an important aspect. So we are also, of course, not just as a product supplier to the integrators or the line builders. Uh, we are also uh, building certain very high-end equipments to be used in these uh, assembly lines. 
right uh, and then uh, the next step definitely is the semicon uh, wherein uh, delta along with the uh, universal instruments which is a delta group company uh, we have very strong uh, product line or you know the equipments which can be used in uh, the semicon industry also so is semicon even going to be a focus set what in india yeah uh, would be and we see a lot of investments coming from the large groups and then even uh uh from outside india but i i see uh, not in the short term but then medium to the long term it's going to be one of the other four areas for us as well right yeah. just uh delta electronics india are as a business entity uh, what's your commitment to the make in india and if you get up whatever you would have seen the progression in terms of uh, last five years if we uh, talk about it um i think the krishnagiri facility is going to grow and the investments are still pouring in uh we have thousands of uh, workforce which is already working there and this fi- this facility is not just for the domestic consumption it's for a lot of exports that will happen there from the cg what we have uh primarily for the automation products but then also for no other products for delta makes globally right and uh, apart from this we see our uh, rd uh, set up being uh growing we would be more than 2000 uh, r&d engineers in, in the in the short span of time and that's that's a goal the organization has so i think as an organization is delta is committed in terms of uh, investing in uh, make in india make in india for india and make in india for the world so that's that's going to be definitely the key like keeping the new sunrise sectors in mind like uh, renewable energy sector semicon mobile manufacturing is would you like to expand your uh, make in india commitment or other manufacturing more in india uh, see i've been mean, uh, of course there are certain components we're going to be made in india the certain components uh, up to very sure certain economies of scale would still keep on importing however the point is whether do we have the capability to do it or integrate it in here in india yes that is where we are probably different from a lot of other automation suppliers so we can actually have uh, a very clear understanding of the pain area of these industries we also are an electronic company right we are a very strong manufacturing base in other countries right so we bring in that knowledge and then try and uh, look at the pain areas of uh, the customers here whether it is electronics line uh, equipment or uh, the component level uh, and we will try and work out a solution around it could be a customized one and there they there are going to be more and more standard solutions also for the electronics or the sunrise industries what we are talking about and we'll keep on bringing more and more uh, for the industry itself keeping other new uh, sector again semiconductor in mind what kind of business volume you expect and uh, it's, it's too early, early. which to early semicon is definitely going to be another area uh, for our consideration right but at this point in time it is uh, it is too early for us to even comment on that uh, side the only thing i can say is delta along with the ui uh, we know sell instruments uh, we have uh, equipment for the semicon for this and uh, we are one of the best in the industry thank you so much sir yeah. talking to you once again thank you bye hello friends If you enjoyed watching this video please like comment share and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content